Okay, so what we'll go through now is how you get your arc up, arcs update to your USB stick to then later on put into your Ectis. So you put whichever USB you have to your computer. You have to up, open up your email. So for the ENCs, you only receive a confirmation about the update. It goes for us automatically to our USB stick that we have connected always. So for us, it says the world, our IMO number, what week, etc. And then if you like, you could print it. I choose not to, as I do have it in my email, but also for port states and such, you can show in your Ectis, which is the latest update, and you have them here. Let's not waste more paper. As far as it comes to your arcs, what we do is we receive this uh, file, go into the master, copy this, and then we need to go to our USB stick. For us, it's this one. We have a master folder here as well. We just paste it, replace it, and then cross out. We can take this out. So now we need to actually go to the hydrographic office to see the latest updates. So for us, we use Win SCP. I don't know how other people call it. <laughs> and then you log into United Kingdom hydrographic office. This usually takes a little bit of time. It's not the fastest process. When it comes to the arcs, you have a base and then you have the weekly update. So here we can see, actually I am already uh, far in, in um, the system at the updates. So what you will do when you see here, week 29, and that's the date when it arrived, Thursdays usually. Take it, drag it over, and then you will get it on your computer. If we go up, you can see you can either get it in ISO or zip files. We always take the zip files. One more. Uh, so here you can see the, the base. This doesn't come every week. I will choose the zip. So the latest one was week 27. Uh, that's number 8. And then you can see what date does well. So this is the digital product updates. You have certificates, ADP, Admiralty and such. So I'm going to the ARCs to find this and then base or updates. Cool, so now you have it here, which is for me, I put it on my first officer nav desktop ENC. It's the location. What you can do is you can open like this to get straight to it. So what I want to do now, because it is a zip file, right click and then extract all. Because now, right, I want to move it from my computer to my USB stick. So I browse for my ENC. For some reason we named it that. Um, I should really rename it to ARCs, I guess. So, as I'd already done this week, as mentioned, uh, what I usually do is I create a new folder, name it for the week done, choose the folder, and then extracts. Now I'm not gonna do it again, it's a little bit time consuming, takes a few minutes, but then you will have it on your USB stick. Start it to your Ectis. Then, similar as with the ENC, you go maintenance. Instead of ENC, now we want to choose ARCs. Update. And then you can go to your database straight away. 
uh, for ARCs the permits only need to be updated once any anything is changed, like you have a new one or such. Not like the ENCs where you always have to update them. So our source, funny enough, is named ENC even though it's ARCs. Uh, as shown before, I created a folder called week 29. Here you only press that one, select, and then you press start. This is all our arc charts. As some extra info for those who doesn't know or are not sure. Uh, raster charts, admiralty raster charts, are without any digital information in them. They are the equivalent of a paper chart scan. Then we are updated. Uh, as you can see here, in the end, uh, up to date. If not, you have to check. Um, so what is good to know, if it says that you are not up to date, you can go to display. You can either show installed charts, permits, etc. But another good thing is you go to maintenance and then here you can verify database. This is also the place where you can uh, delete charts and permits. And don't be afraid to press delete charts because then when you start here you will just get a list of all the charts that you have. And then from that list you can choose which one you want to delete.